that I guess my grandma would have <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be blessed for no reason. And I think that's a perfect reason. Amen? Amen. I don't think people should have to wake up and try to feel some type of way or wait for something to happen to them. I don't think that anybody should take for granted what they already have. The conversation I had with my mother this morning, I told her, I said, I should stop complaining about what I already have and just appreciate that I do have it. Amen. I want to be thankful for everything. I want to be thankful for the problems I have. I want to be thankful for even some of the struggles I've gone through, because I know the hardships and those struggles are making me better. Yes. Mm. I want to, whatever you do, whatever you do, just do it. I want to paint like I paint like Sarah. I tell Sarah, show that artwork, be beautiful, because God made you beautiful. Everyone in this room is special, not because I tell you that you are, but simply because God made you, Amen. because God broke that you are. Right. So I send my message to the balcony when I say that. My heart goes out to everyone up there. My heart goes out to everyone in here. I love my family dearly, so let me take a moment to tell everyone a story personal in my own life. Um, for better or for worse, my grandfather, would, you know, he's been in off the hospital a little bit, and I can't lie, like, that's not affecting me in some manner. And I'm not too ashamed to get up here and tell you about that. I'm not going to get up here and cry. Don't worry about me. I'm not going to break down. Because he's still with me, and I still feel that connection. But he, made me a, he made me a man. I thank my grandfather for that every single day, whether I get to tell him or not. Because my father wasn't there, but he was. I don't got too much longer to get up here and talk. So what I want to call everybody to remember is while we are running this race trying to make ourselves better, don't forget, don't leave your family behind. Right. Keep your family, but keep God first in this process. Yes. Don't forget that. I forgot that along the way. If somebody out here takes one thing from what I tell you today, never forget your family. Because when you lay on your deathbed, they're going to be the only thing that you speak about. That's They'll right. be the only ones you remember. So never forget that. And if I'm a, if I'm a weak man for, for crying in front of y'all, then I'm gladly a weak man. Amen. Oh. Y'all, I just want to leave y'all with one thing because I never wrote a single word that I'm speaking to y'all right now. But I tell y'all this never forget your family, love them dearly, educate the youth because with them we can preserve the truth. Educate them, teach them, raise them to be better, aspire them, inspire them. I love everybody in here dearly. Y'all in my heart forever. Thank you. Thank you.